Hey everyone, Hans here. Hope all are doing well. It's a bit dark outside still, but you know, I do enjoy waking up with the chickens. So, uh, yeah. You're not gonna see too much of me. Maybe by the end of the video, who knows. Um, but to the point at hand. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, someone that uh, we have been helping now for the past year, almost, or at least the last half year. He goes by the name of Etelwolf. He's uh, one of our artists, good man. And uh, I'm just gonna leave a little update here. So, for those who do not know, We've been trying to get them out of South Africa, which is turning more and more into a danger zone. By his description and by what we know of the political uh, establishment there and their feelings towards white people, which are <laughs> uh, which are just downright anti-white. <laughs> it's that simple. So we've been trying to. Uh, get a GoFundMe going for him. He also uh, takes commissions. So if you are willing to help him but you do not necessarily trust it, which is fair, that is okay, then you can still yeah, commission him for, for an art piece. And his paintbrush speaks the truth in terms of that he is an artist. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but I wanted to give the update that so far so good. We are more than likely nearing the end stage of getting him out. It's uh, still, <laughs> it's still an if, nothing is certain. But what we do now is is that uh, there are now people of influence. Let's put it like that, who are going to try to help him. And uh, I wanted to share that with everyone. It's a it's good cause to rejoice. And we're not going to... How shall I put it? No. I'm going to make it positive sounding. We're going to keep pushing until he's out of that danger zone. And I suppose go to a zone that is at least less dangerous for whites. <laughs> than the outright mayhem that is happening uh, yeah, over there. Yeah, I think that's good enough for now. I've asked him if uh, if it was okay for me to mention this, and here it goes. Yeah, yeah. So for all of you who have been supporting us, it's not just him. It's supporting all of us and getting him out of there. Know that uh, it means the world to me and to everyone that is helping. You really, whew, you've really helped so much <laughs> even if it's a penny here or a dollar there it doesn't matter even if it's just spreading the word so others may help it's really appreciated and uh, yeah what little what little big uh, <laughs> big uh, quotation marks what you did is helping one of our guys that means something it really does and it shows us every one of us can see that there are many of us who are going to do the right thing when called upon the deranged and the greedy among us in our sphere who pretend to care uh, yeah they'll, they'll boast that they helped without ever having done anything uh, but those who really stuck in and really did the right thing you know let let some uh, run off with their stolen valor you are a good person you did the right thing there I hope you remember that and I also hope you remember that there were many others it shows that we can band together behind projects behind people and stick out for one another. Important lesson there. And yeah, what a start. 
at least for me, <laughs> want to start to do so by saving a life. Because it is no less than that. You can be certain of such. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it here. At that point. <laughs> in, in regards, for now. In regards to Eight Wolf. And uh, yeah, go check him out. I'll, uh, I'll leave some links underneath the video of his store. And uh, yeah, you can, uh, if you want, you can peruse. Even if you don't want to get anything yourself, hey, show it to a friend, show it to a neighbor. Maybe they want to commission him or buy something that he created. It's uh, it's truly beautiful. Yeah, okay. So, what do I want to talk about today? It's uh, kind of random, I suppose. There are some more serious topics in the coming. But for now, well, this is also serious, I suppose. Is, uh, I've been into a new job in the last few months and the nature of this job is that I have to drive around a lot the, the that is together with colleagues not just me solo it's not a trucker job and <laughs> as I drive between an hour or two hours a day on and off Something like that. Sometimes more, sometimes less. The radio is on. Because my colleagues, they like listening to all the radio stuff. I do not even know if you can call it songs. I definitely have difficulty with that. <laughs> um, but it allowed me to do something I usually do not do. And being who I am, I start analyzing if you will I start analyzing what is you know what is actually being played all the time you know what are these noises <laughs> being made what is it always about what is it that the average man or woman who likes the radio gets to hear a lot what's put in their head put in their nut as Schnover would like to say and I'm, I was kind of mortified and disgusted with some of the stuff I've listened, had to listen to in the last few months. Uh, <laughs> it's always noise about um, the least worst romance, if that's what you can call it. No, I should say even failed relationships or or hollow, vacuous relationships. Oh baby, I'll love you forever. Ooh. And I'll, I'll never, I'll fall on my knees for you and blah blah blah. It's, it's just like, oh, wow. <laughs> what, uh, what kind of, what person wants a partner like that? <laughs> it's what goes through my head. Like this, this, this whole bowing down out of love that is not a thing <laughs> it really isn't or broken up relationships oh you know you wrecked my car and you ran off with my money and oh you you naughty you mean oh. which is <laughs> it's hardly any better is it now what else is there noise about someone being jealous uh, that some other dude ran off with the girl he wants and how he wishes them both ill oh yeah that's a very healthy mindset <laughs> like you know the, the the person you wanted as a partner chooses someone else and now you have to be bitter about it and wish them harm that's uh yeah that's a recipe for a healthy society wouldn't you say people I don't think so actually. I think it's uh it's it's hor it's horrifying. <laughs> it's possessive. It's sickening. It is twisted. <sighs> yeah. 
What else? Oh yeah. Indulge in all ma all manners of uh, avarice and go party a lot. You know, we love having parties, which usually comes down to drink yourself stupid, and uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> all manners of hedonism. You just sleep around with you know people you don't know, uh, get you know get drunk, you know, do all kind of you know, yeah, encouraging. Uh, all manners of drugs to be used. Uh, it's it's yeah, and you, then you need to bear in mind that young young people are listening to this, right? Many of which are going to be influenced by this and think that oh, I guess that's what you do in your free time, rather than go pick up a book and uh, I don't know. Pick up a book, go sit underneath a tree somewhere, and uh, read. Or do you know expand your skill set? You know it's your free time, but you can still learn something new. Or <laughs> what other stuff are they going on about a lot? Yeah, just oh, so much. Um, I mean, there, there. Some of, some of it is just an entire string of insults and slurs and and boh, horrific, uh, horrific uh, descriptions on 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 on. Uh, I mean, I cannot even speak about it without just swearing my head off. It's just every other sentence in some of that noise has like twenty insults in it, or or just these hedonistic descriptions of, of, of uh, yeah, um, uh, it's, it's all about, you know, it's all about, uh, genitals, yeah, you know, feelings are, are uh, of the past, we don't need that, blah, 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 it's just, again, you know, what kind of, a uh, what kind of psychopath or sociopath you know, comes up with that stuff. <laughs> and, uh, of course, you know, noise about the daily dread of life, which is perhaps the best among all the bad stuff, which, you know, it's still bad in my eyes. It's just, oh, I can't wait for the weekend to start. I, uh, I'll hate... I hate my job, blah blah blah. Well, you know, if people are a bit more creative and enough of us act differently, that is something we can get out of, maybe. Um, and then recently I also heard some noise and it was about, oh, be happy that you can barely buy anything anymore. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> be happy that you're getting poor. And that you're going to eventually live on the street while um, others are going to live in their castles, you know, dining on the most succulent of meals, uh, while you are basically told to live on a diet of, you know, bread and water, you know, the vegan diet <laughs> or the vegetarian diet, bread and water. Oh, yeah, and I suppose green stuff too, which is fine. If there is a nice slab of meat next to it, at least. <laughs> uh, yeah. But to me... Yeah, and the single worst one for me that made me downright angry. You're not going to believe it, probably. You're just not going to believe it. And it's a song. Well, song. It's noise. It's a noise three minutes long or something and it's about a non-white who is essentially fantasizing in the radio towards an entire nation if you so will about raping a blonde blue-eyed girl the lyrics go something like I mean I'm not gonna repeat all of it because it is downright disgusting. 
<coughs> but some of the stuff I can repeat, I suppose, uh, oh, I actually, you know, and this is quote, I actually shouldn't talk about this, it's going to hurt you, you're gonna have tears streaming for your, from your face, you blue-eyed, you blonde girl, it's, you know, I actually can't talk about it, but, yeah, you're gonna cry, and, you know, it's gonna hurt a bit. But I still want to do stuff to you. That's, uh, well, it's not exactly a quote, I suppose, but it is what it comes down to. Amidst the more graphic descriptions, then, of what that is that he wants to do to a blue-eyed blonde girl. Granted, that was also the first and the last time I heard that on the radio, so I suppose... I suppose more than one person noticed what was going on there and put a damn quick stop to it. But what is going on? My colleagues aren't even outraged. They just... I'm not saying that they... that they support this. But they're just vacantly staring onto the road as this... This ear cancer <laughs> uh, is pumped into their heads. It is... <sighs> yeah, there's just no words that I can bring out, I suppose. I don't know how hideous that is to me. But yeah, that is my experience with radio, in a nutshell, of the last few months, in the year 2021. I hope that one day I'll look back on this video myself and be able to say, oh, luckily that time is over. I hope you all will be able to say the same. And, you know, it's not only that which they allow us to listen to, right? by the radio it is what we don't get to hear in that same time where is I mean recently even uh, I was listening to a song of Bach and I mind you I'm, I'm not a <laughs> I don't know a lot about classic music in the sense of you know don't don't let me listen to a song and tell you what the title is and who came up with it some songs I know and that's it <laughs> I'm by no means a uh, aficionado or, or or whatever you call that. Uh, but I like listening to some classic songs. And I was listening to one recently. It's a uh, Focata on Folk by Bach, I believe, is the title. I, I hope I got that right. <laughs> I suppose all of you... Uh, you uh, magicians uh, out there can start throwing rotten fruit at me now. <laughs> uh, those who love that music. But yeah. And I'm just listening to this organ solo, which is basically what the song is. Uh, although basic isn't exactly the, the right term either. It's brilliant. It's absolutely astounding. Just to sit back and listen to some of those pieces. And I figure, well... Why aren't we having that on the radio? Where is the true... Where is the music? Where is the actual music? Where is that which lifts up your spirit? Where is that which... Can touch you in the soul? No. Instead we get to hear noise. Oh! I almost forgot. And uh, anyone else noticed... That they're all doing this this weird sound effect on these singers, the, well, singers, <laughs> on the voices of these people as they're making the noise. It uh, sounds gross, and uh, pretty sure you know everyone is aware that it's to to uh, to mask their great talent. <laughs> and then, yeah, maybe one final thing to add to that. Um, you all actually also notice that these people, for spreading that noise, for making that noise, they get paid more for each song than most of us see annually. 
for a 9 to 5 or longer sometimes. Is that the society we agree with? <laughs> that uh, someone that makes noise about raping a white girl earns more money than, I don't know, a fireman who pulls people out of <laughs> burning buildings? Uh, gets more leisure time than... than uh, mm, be good, another good yeah, gets more leisure time than <laughs> a farmer who is on his field from morning till till dawn from dawn till dusk I mean Oop. <laughs> is that something we agree with that our people are to listen to this noise it's getting more light. Hopefully, I think. Yeah, I think you guys can see me now. <laughs> um, that. Um, where was I? Yeah, that we're gonna let our, our young, our people, be faced with all of that. That filth. And. Uh, Just, just let what is truly musical fade away. <laughs> the destruction of our culture. It doesn't matter if these artists of the past were Austrians and you are a Swede or a Frenchman. Uh, but these artists of the past were Americans or... Uh, I don't know, uh, Italians. And you are Spanish or Serbian or whatever it's going to be. That's our people's music. Erased with noise of talentless hacks who live like kings while the people who actually create value, who actually help others who actually deserve something back from their for their hard labor who can just you know quietly be yeah erased I suppose <laughs> well or quietly be drowned out by noise I guess it's a bit of an of a of an uh, a rant that I'm going through but it is maybe an analysis helps Maybe this is something that some of uh, some people need to hear, so they can describe it better. For those who have difficulty, you know, understanding what it is that they are supposed, you know, what they're hearing on the radio, because it's one thing to say, "Oh, well, the radio it's just crap. Turn it off." You're absolutely correct, and <laughs> you should turn it off. Uh, but to say why, to describe why. That is, uh, that's also important, and I guess that's why I wanted to bring this up. Uh, yeah, you know, maybe, yeah. Let's mess. Let's end up with a good message, though. There are still many of our bards, skulls, uh, troubadours, uh, great. Uh, Artists with sound who make wonderful songs. They who are about, you know, standing up for your own, loving your own. Mythology, heroes, gods. Um, just the simple joys in life. That which makes us smile. Sometimes that which makes us cry bittersweet tears there are still those who are making such wonderful music in the wake of all this noise and all I can uh, can say is to that go support them look out for them um, Hmm. Shall I leave some names? Eat Bake Sing.
calendar. Uh, recently, someone that subscribed to me. I, I hope I pronounce your uh, name correctly enough. <laughs> uh, I think it's Andre Moyeshev. I, I hope I got that right. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, you have uh, White Falcon Studio, which is also worth looking into. Uh, oh, who else? Oh, you know what? I've got a few more minutes <laughs> and I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, there are actually too many names that suddenly flood in to fill those few minutes, so I'm, I'm gonna do it differently. Um, or I'm gonna add something else. I saw recently someone that I like watching on uh, YouTube when this historical research I was going to make a commentary on uh, music in the white positive sphere and where I agree that there is a lot of you know artists who are coming up now who really uh, you know they're experimenting they're new uh, yeah their first albums are not going to be necessarily the best but you know we can still support them we can give them a pat on the shoulder for trying and you know doing the most important thing is sticking their names and faces to uh, doing the right thing that takes balls that takes spine and i saw this person who was uh, uh anal you know who was going on about the music being below par and the videos being random just endlessly complain basically whine even Oh, the messages aren't subtle enough, and the uh, the artistry should be should be better. And there was this even um, oh yeah, and uh, another name that comes to mind, Ertrin, who has his own uh, uh, YouTube channel that I found out <laughs> during that day. Uh, was showing off his liar, played a bit on it. The guy who was uh, criticizing all of this music didn't even have the decency to listen through the whole video. And just dismissed him, which is yeah that that was that was low dude <laughs> if you get to ever see this video that's that's despicable well despicable it it that was not how you behave towards uh, those who uh, are sitting in the same trench with you let's put it like that uh, yeah um damn now I lost my train of of, of uh, a track of mind um, yeah I mean he was you know, basically what it came down to is if you're going to criticize people then have it be healthy critique complaining about how it isn't subtle enough to your taste or that it's just not your taste That what does that even mean and some of these comments that I saw Oh, you know, you know, basically, oh, it's women's music. It's, it's, uh, it, women are making it, so it has no value, and blah blah blah. It's just, wow. And that guy just let people say that. That is pff, absolutely zero respect for that. Absolutely despicable. Yeah, that really is. Um, yeah. Suppose, I suppose what I'm trying to get at is at the end of it all is to get rid of the noise, we have to support our own. And <clears throat> it is helpful to, I don't know, maybe analyzing, you know, that noise as I saw it, as I heard it, I should say. Uh, it gives other people a bit of a direction on how to look at it and how to critique it properly. You know, if it's truly nothing but trash from beginning to end, yeah, then you can absolutely break it down as the trash it is, and then consequently toss it, toss it in the recycle bin, I suppose. <laughs> Although I rather not see anything of that ever come back, even if it is better. <laughs> uh, 
and those of our own who may not be making the best right now you know you can still just say hey you're on you're on a good path keep going and challenge yourself challenge yourself I'm gonna leave it with that yeah you will have a good one and bye bye